Well hey guys and welcome to another video on our Barney family YouTube and Facebook and as you can see guys we're right off the back of the motorbike vlog and we're here at a uh, Balvenie Castle in Dufton, Dufton Castle. I'm just seeing some Highland cows over there guys, I'm going to grab them in quick two seconds. Didn't want to miss these guys. There's the castles up behind us guys, we'll be back there in just a second. But here you go, the Highland Coos. Usually a bit shaggier than that, you know. As you can see guys, beautiful little field we've got here. Yeah, hey, got a wee one as well. Hey, look at the colours. Hey, hey you know. And there's, uh, there's Mummy. Wee one. Dad. A couple of wee ones. Another dad. Look at the colour of this guy. Man, you gorgeous. Look, you gorgeous. Oh, well, this big boy, it's a girl. Oh, me. Watch out, flipping horns. You weren't happy, were you? You're not happy with me at all, because look, here's a little one. Eh? I'm not going to do nothing to your baby, darling. Don't worry. Pretty sure she could break through this fence and maul me, actually. Eh? I'm pretty sure you could, lady. Look at that horns. Isn't that beautiful? Flipping sharp as well. Look at that. Eh, it's okay. It's okay. I know. Yes, I know it's okay. Promise. I'm not going to do nothing. What a beautiful animal. Oh, you itchy. You itchy. This is literally three feet away from me. She's quite happy. But obviously, little Baba's there. She kind of chased off the other, you know, she kind of chased her away from the fence. Didn't you? Mm -hmm. Hello, Dan. You're okay. Nothing's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna happen. Call me. You wouldn't fight with that thing anyway, guys. I can imagine we should do you that horns. That's why I'm keeping back, I'll tell you. Hi, oh, yeah, that's a she. Yeah, that's a she. That's a girl. And that's big boy over there. Yes. Hey. You're a beautiful thing. Hey. No little one there. That one's kind of like a really light colour, it's really bonny. I could just hang around here with you all day, I could. She seems quite happy now, doesn't seem to be overly fussed, but I don't want to sort of... I'd love to touch that horns actually, but I don't want to sort of stress out our baby being around. Yeah, full of milk. The mama there, she's full of milk. The two wee guys in there. The field must go all the way down. But we're here for Balvenie Castle, though, guys. Eh? We'll come and see you before we go, though. If I remember that is, I'm sure I will. But yeah, so Balvenie Castle, guys. Uh, I've never visited this castle before. Never, ever, ever, ever. I'm going to have to take my helmet with us, guys. We're just up here. We'll be around, you see. Not sure why people would want to steal a helmet. I suppose the, the auction car would be fine and handy, wouldn't it? Ugh. Right, so welcome to Balvenie Castle. Tickets on shop. Obviously, the place is locked. Please buy your ticket here before visiting the castle. No, we can't get in. I'll tell you what, we'll come back up and we'll pay next time when we get inside and have a look around it. Eh? But for now, not really so familiar with this castle, guys. You know, it's it's kind of out of, it's out of time for us, really. But as was a lot of the other castles, guys, they've been very well restored. You can see like a lot of this has been pointed, you know, that's beautiful. But obviously when no um, office open, we're all locked up to go inside. There's absolutely no reason why we can't go round and have a look, eh? I was trying to imagine what it must have been like way back then, you know? So of course that house wouldn't have been there and fences and all that sort of stuff. I'm sure there'd been a lot of woodland, you know? A lot of it's down for farming. Really, really well defended, guys. Look how far down. Then you've got the steep slope, big wall, and of course you've got the ports, you know, where they fire the fire the arrows out of, you know. So you can see up there. Then again, when I think about it, no, that looks about right. I don't know if that was the edge of the castle before. No, it might have been. I'm just not going to be able to get in and get up, that's a real shame. 
the home fuel manage. It's just off the main road here as well, takes you back into Dufton. Like I said guys, we'll do a, a wee um, motorbike vlog on the way back, what we call the extended vlogs. You're more than, more than welcome to hang around and we'll go back home on the bike. Get some fresh batteries. Again, I don't know if that is the original outer wall. All I've got is a warning sign to be very careful. But that might have been at some stage. It's hard to tell because you know a lot of this has been renewed. As you can see, you know, the, the brickwork there has been worked on really, really well, you know. A wee bit of the Highland Cues, eh? A wee bit of the Highland Cues for you. Hopefully you can hear the birds. Listen. Nice, eh? And of course the latrine. Eh? So what would have happened, I think that's the toilet there. Yeah, this toilet there and this comes out at the bottom. I've got the feeling guys that there used to be another part to this. Because you can see all the way along that wall there used to be a floor. And of course underneath that floor would have been the cellars, you know. Or the, the servants quarters as it were. That's what I'm sort of thinking. You guys that have visited before maybe know better than me. But as you can see guys, I mean a formidable fortress, you know, back in that days. You wouldn't have to worry too much about walls that high, would you? And of course, with being woodland round about, you know, you wouldn't really get the big machinery in. I don't know if they ever did have those big catapults when this place was built. I'm sure they were there at some stage, you know. We've got some um, chimney stacks for the looks of them up there. There's a great big bit at the top. Of course, most of this guys would have had a wooden roof, you know, it would have been all wooden. And of course, along the wall again, guys, you can see there's those spaces for the beams for flooring. So I'm pretty sure that flooring would have came out into this part here, you know. By the looks of it, anyway. What's this? Latrine shoot and pit. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, another one. Probably a bedroom up there or something, eh? So I've had two latrines so far. Oh, and yet another latrine. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and of course, it's all barred up now, guys, you know, so you can't get in. Which is fair enough, you know. It takes money to, it takes money to restore these places, you know. It doesn't get rebuilt in fresh air, you know. So we'll definitely come back out properly someday and go in. And if you look back, guys, you'll see quite a lot of Scottish castle tours. And of course, during this time, they've all been shut. So you know, there hasn't been really a lot we can do other than just really taking you up and giving you a look around, you know. Isn't that beautiful? Just head back down to this. I don't know if there's. Usually these places are very good, you know, with their um, photographs and stuff, the way they thought it used to be and stuff like that, you know. But look what else we've got. Elgin Cathedral, we've done. Haven't done Huntley Castle. There's up Tolkoon. Tolkoon Castle. Tolkoon. And Kildrummy Castle. Save money with an Explorer's Pass or membership. That sounds pretty good, really, doesn't it? Free entry to 70 historic sites. That would be the thing to do, wouldn't it? You just get a pass. So what have we got over here? I would imagine this part over here, guys, would be... It's like a gatehouse, I think, by the looks of things. Yeah, it's not expensive, guys. I mean, look, six pounds. Deedee me. Six pounds, about eight dollars. Pretty good going. And again, you can see most of this has been restored. You know, a lot of these parts have been restored. I just wonder if they ever bring them back to sort of their former glory, you know? I'll sneak around and see where my, see where my coups are. I've got the extension up on the, my extension up on the cams. Let's see. I can't even see. See if they have a wee sneaky look. Oh yeah. 
we don't want it to charge towards this wall. It might not hold up with that big beast. There is actually people inside there at the moment. I can hear the guy coughing. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that amazing? One, two, three floors, plus the cellars, I suppose, and the latrine rooms and stuff. And you've got that tower. Pretty big castle, really, guys. Not by some of the other castles right enough, but still, it's some size of place, isn't it? Give you a wee look just so you can take it in, guys. Like I said, guys, there's a few places that we really need to come back to so we can get inside. Obviously, that gates were even open, and we could have got inside, you know, and you tend to see the, the sort of pictures of what it used to look like and well, the artist's impression of what it must have, what it would have looked like, you know. Six pound, guys. I'm sure we'll survive. Okay? Very nice indeed. Right, well, let's go and see the coos before we go. Yeah, she might actually react to the funny to me again, unless she's quite happy now. Pup, pick up poo. Absolutely. Ridiculous in this day and age, people still do that. Yeah. Eh? No, that's start. No, that's Mama. Or one of the mamas. Yeah, she seems quite happy now. But there's some horns they've got. She seems to be quite happy now. Hey, look at that one. Hey, like a wee bear. Hey, you're like a wee bear. Yes. I'm just watching at the corner of mine because mummy starts charging at me. I think we're okay though. Aren't they beautiful, eh? Yeah, mummy's quite happy now. She obviously sees I'm not a threat to the wee ones. That's cool. So yeah, that's this thing, guys. So again, guys, we've got loads of Scottish tour videos um, on our channel now. It's taken quite a long time to build. Much of which was done through my surgery rehab time and stuff like that. Hiya mate. So uh, you're more than welcome to sit and watch that if you like. Yeah, it was well worth the trip up here, didn't it? Very nice indeed. So again guys, we're just going to be shooting on with the, the extended vlog. We'll just jump on the bike to go back to Elgin. So you're more than welcome to hang around. But for now guys, thanks so much for watching. Well hey guys and welcome to your extended vlog. Now things are a bit mushy-moshy because the vlog here with the action camera, there was a wrong setting on the camera and it just didn't go well at all. So what I've actually done is drive out here. We've done the tour, obviously, um, yesterday. So this is the sort of vlog home, sort of tying it all in, you know. So uh, never mind, you, these things happen. We'll just say a quick goodbye to our little, uh, our coos. They're over here now. We were there yesterday. They all seem happy enough. Yeah, the mummy wasn't happy with me at all in the beginning. Seems to be fine now. Look at our horns. Just awesome, eh? A beautiful wee thing. Look at the, the baby over there. And the baby there. Eh? Hey, you gorgeous, you guys. And they seem absolutely fine with me now. I'm dressed differently today, mama. So I wonder where they get their horns coming in. He's hot, look. He's just hot. Don't know where that water bottle is. Must be a way up there somewhere. We actually have got quite a decent sized field. Anyway, see you later you guys. We'll see you again. Yeah, we'll see you again. Here. So this is the this extended vlog. It's just me driving home chatting and stuff. So if you're still here, <coughs> awesome. Ah. Now, turn and circle of a fire blade is not easy. Not easy. And of course what you're more concerned about here, not the bike slipping, but one of your feet slipping on this loose gravel. 
So you have to be quite careful. There we go. Yes, yeah, so about a 15 minute drive back to Elgin, guys. I hope you enjoy. Wee bit of abrupt brakes instead of front brakes. And there we go. Just checking everything's in now. You know when you make a mistake? Sort of second guessing myself, making sure. Now if I can remember rightly guys, we should just turn left here. And take us back out in the main road and back down the road. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah, it has to be. Oh, man alive. Two seconds guys, just need to adjust my... Because I have a close to me, you see. And wearing leathers at times, especially leather trousers, is actually quite uncomfortable. Um, so I've got to be quite careful. Make sure I'm all sorted out and ready. Here we go though. And we'll head back into town. She takes about 15 minutes, eh? And like I said, if you're along with it, you're still here. I'm glad to have you. So yeah, 17 miles back to Elgin. Ugh. What am I on about? We're still in Duft, isn't it? You know something? Sometimes. Oh, I worry. It's not that far away from the Gaelic here, anyway. It's five miles. Well, we should have a really nice run home. Alright, let's go. The Isla Way, we'll have to remember that. Whoa! Well, that was a good old blast there. Oh, look at these corners! Oh, yeah. Let's slow down. I don't really know this road all that well, so I'm not gonna, not gonna go hiking too hard. Yeah, it's like I see in these vlogs, guys. It's all the hidden entrances you have to watch out for. And I don't have funky lock brakes. I've sort of got manual brakes, so you've really got to think about it. If you're trying to slow down quick, you've really got to squeeze the front brake and just sort of touch the back brake to slow down quick, you know? Yeah, guys, so we're just going to head back down into Kregel, okay? And then we'll have Rothus to go through. That'll be pretty cool, eh? Just the wee drive home. Ugh. Don't know what's happening up here. And then a wee look between the vans. That's the advantage of having a bike, guys. Just a wee squirt when you're off. Oh, another nice bend coming up as well. You'll see this one. Really nice bend. You need down round here, I think. Yeah, you probably could. I'm just taking my time though guys. I find when I'm sort of commentating on the camera, it's very easy to lose your concentration, so let's take it easy. Oh, it was nice and bald anyway though. Thought I'd film a wee video up there as well for our Tribulation Soldier Comms YouTube channel as well, that was good. A wee 20 minutes. Rather nice, hopefully.
Yeah, we we'll have to start thinking about some real major videos, guys. There's one that I'd really like, but I'll save it for when we get a new bike. It's uh, going out to our Royal Air Force Base and see if we'll, they'll allow us to go down the runway on the bike. See how fast we can go. Well, that'd be pretty cool. Maybe we'll have a drag race for a Eurofighter. Yeah, so down at the Kugela, here we come. It's just beautiful today. It's very hot though. Where you find it, I try to take the side roads instead of getting stuck in any traffic. It just gets so hot, you know. I've actually got the front of my jacket sort of half open to let the air sort of flow around. Oh, open the visor for a wee bit as well, actually. Just get some fresh air in. Yeah, I don't want to roast through the town, it's quite a, it's a sleepy town. Oh, but uh, something poop on the road, don't know what that was. the main road here. But yeah, we not to 60 guys. Let's see. Let me make sure I've got a clear bit of road of course. There we go. Right, so let's see. Nobody's come out. We'll shut the visor. Here we go. Oh. Let's check, you guys okay? You guys okay? Yeah, just double checking. This is going to be fine though. Yeah, always have a wee check. Those guys seem to be fine. They look like we're just having a wee rest. But if you can help it, you never really... S you, you have to stop for a biker, you know? Also, ladies in cars as well, you know? Don't just drive by. Look at that today. Yeah, I think next time, guys, next vlog, we'll come out here. Because this Archiston Road takes us all the way back to Elgin, but the southern route is that I'll go around southwest, which is very cool. A lovely piece of road as well. Oh, we've got a big tractor, big tractor turning. Twelve miles, guys. Oh, there's a tractor up front as well, I think, Luke. Yeah, quite a small one. Oh, it's quite a classic tractor, actually. Look at this. If anyone's going to overtake, we'll get a wee look at it. Oh, yeah, it doesn't even have a roll cab or anything. Let's uh, see if like any of these dudes wants to overtake. I suppose I could have filtered, I could have went right along the bit, but... Not in any hurry. Plus, hopefully it's giving you a wee bit of a view, you know? Uh, I'll have to get a look at this thing. Oh. So you just start to think of it going. Ah, we'll get behind it now. No. Go on, dude, go for it. Got a wee look at this thing. A wee look, I'm still looking forward. Oh, very nice. Nice, eh? Maybe just caught a glimpse of it. Don't worry, I was looking forward. 
I just glanced at it, keep my eyes on the road, it's almost the best, the best thing. And here we come back down three in Erothus. Oh. There we go. Oh, Pfizer time as well. Tell you something guys, hot. No sun, but it's very a muggy, I think is the word for it. Or close, as we say in Scotland, close. Yes, we've got a few things planned this summer, guys. We've got a, uh, we're going to be going to Loch Lomond in the caravan, and obviously we'll be taking the canoe and doing a bit of fishing in Loch Lomond as well, guys. So that should be pretty awesome. I would have said, pretty, pretty awesome. Never fished Loch Lomond before, so that'll be a new experience. But doubtless there will be uh, YouTube videos. Show us the spots, you know what I mean? This is what you don't want. It's to be stuck coming through here in traffic lights and through traffic. You'll see the temperature begin to jump, it's about 70 degrees almost now. The engine temp. And it's just climbing because we're just sitting. It's up to 71 now, 72. And a nice bit of cold air coming through again. You find once we're back on the road, it'll just go back down to like 68. James Jones. And here we go. So obviously in the vlog guys, we came from that road over there. And we're just going to head back this road now. a mistake there, sorry guys. Yeah, suspension's very tight guys. What a lovely big corner this is. Look at this, so nice. Up over the crest. Got a blast of wind from the lorry here, wait for it. Oh, what a bad. Yeah, temperature's back down to 68. Ah, oh, what a lovely piece of road. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. So nice. There's a fish farm over there, guys. I think me yeah, I think the last video was uh, David and Emily fishing there actually. Oh the valley just looks beautiful today. So nice. Well, hopefully we'll get some really nice uh, summertime vlogs now. Well, that a sun. <laughs> Isn't this is so nice? 
Hopefully you're enjoying, guys. Go away from the junction of it. There we go. Keep checking their mirrors. We'll just click down at the fifth gear for this little bit here. It's a wee bit tighter. Oh. Yeah, baby. And down we come into Fogwatt. Another really nice corner down here. It's a shame we've got the Fogwatt here because these corners are awesome. You can imagine coming down here and look at the S bends as it climbs up. That would be just perfect, wouldn't it? There we go. Yeah, this bit here, a lot of people overtake on this part of the road. But there's so many turnings, look. You have to really be careful. So there's one now. There's another to our left. To our right, there's a car there, look. Another car left here. It is not worth overtaking on this stretch. Not worth it at all. Here yeah, we're going on a big bench now. And the home stretch to Elgin. Yeah, you see that forest right there? It was sold not that long ago for 20 grand. No, believe it or not, 20 grand. And um, I've always looked to buy that forest. And build a house on it, you know? That would be just awesome. But uh, we'll have to wait and see what God's got for us. And looking beautiful coming back into Elgin. Hopefully the sun's here to stay for a bit. Really lifts the old mood. And we come. Oh, that'll do us, eh? Uh, that's better. Yeah, so listen guys, thanks so much for uh, watching. So glad if you hung around just for a wee drive. It's always nice, you know. Like I said guys, you know, we've got our motorbike vlogs, we've got our off-road vlog. We're doing a bit of wild camping now. And of course we do our Scottish tours. 
cars, bikes and boats, DIY, fishing, you name it guys, we tend to do it. And of course, always remember guys, you know, if you've got your kids or whatnot, David and Emily have got their Barney Family Fun YouTube channel. And they do 24 hour challenges and gaming and quad biking and arts and crafts, so they just do a bit of everything really. So we certainly hope that you enjoy the videos that we produce you guys. But for now, listen, thank you so much, and God bless for now.